DC today on Thursday. Today is March 21st, and it's great to be with you here as it always is on another nice uh, update here. So we've got follow through from yesterday's nice rally of 400 points again today. Um, another another big update. Rates on the day were basically unchanged, um, and so we're just still digesting more or less what the Fed went through yesterday um, with their statement and press conference. And, and, you know, like I mentioned yesterday, they did have mention on quantitative tightening and, and just starting to ease that back a little bit. That's meaningful to markets. And then they added a PCE uh, goal for the year, a target of 2.6, um, you know, which is on the way to 2%, but not at 2%. And so I think it's just they're seeing, seeing the, um, you know, where, where things are going and, and knowing they need to start easing um, policy before they actually get to 2%. There's still the three cuts priced in for this year. I think those things are good. And so markets are feeling good about all those things. And my comment is just, just remember that markets price things in in advance. A lot of that stuff is baked in at this point. I don't want people to get too ahead of themselves. There's a lot of soft landing narrative and um, good things now priced into markets. And so I suspect going forward, it's going to be about how those company fundamentals are going to keep pace with what the valuations of their names are actually trading at. And I think some will have uh, some will do better than others, and I think it's a time to be uh, to be very selective. But all in all, generally speaking, the numbers today, the economic numbers, were also all pretty supportive of that soft landing narrative. Um, we had jobless claims that were about in line. We got a 210 number versus about a 215 expectation, so that's a little bit a little bit less on jobless initial jobless claims. That's a good thing. Um, existing claims were actually a little higher. Um, so people that are unemployed are staying that way for longer, but generally speaking, the employment picture is still very positive. We had a, um, existing home sales number today that was quite a bit better than expected. It was nine and a half percent, uh, for the month, um, at 4.44, um, uh, houses and, uh, that was better than expected. And so you're con continuing to see positive things in real estate and housing and support for it. And I talked about the demographics being supportive and the inventory amount that we have being lower and that being supportive of some of these things, but that's what we are seeing in some of those numbers, um, which, which, uh, which, which is good. There was a, a manufacturing number out of Philadelphia today that was still an expansion territory. It was down a little from last month, but again, that was uh, still fairly positive on the day. And then you had uh, PMI numbers come in uh, in expansion territory as well. So, all in all, most of the numbers in the economy are looking fairly, fairly good, fairly decent. Um, Fed seems like it's on a certain path to uh, to start to ease here, heading into the end of the year or mid year to the end of the year. And so again, markets are feeling good, and that's what you're seeing in risk in risk assets right now. Um, there was a question on commercial real estate. I actually did a, a write up um, on the March 14th DC today on commercial real estate starting to bottom. And I was particularly talking about different segments of it, including office. And the particular question that came in um, was more on office. And is it still a big risk? And is there more to, you know, more shoe to drop and all that? And I basically just said, um, you know, a lot of that's priced in there too. And there's just a big disparity between the word office. I mean, there's, there's class A that was really not impaired at all during this downturn. And then a lot of the other parts of it that were upwards of 20%. Uh, but all that to say, now that we're getting through that and we are seeing lower interest rates start to come back into the picture a little bit with the economy still doing normal things, you are starting to see some price rebound. And if that's where we are in that cycle, then I'm not sure that that shoe to drop is going to materialize at this point. Um, I think I think that um, I think that we'll get through it just fine. Uh, the other thing is just there was a big amount of equity buffer built in there. And so it wasn't like you know, other, other periods where there wasn't enough equity to support a declining price from a loan to value perspective. We, we had that uh, protective equity in there. Um, so with that, we've got uh, tomorrow, um, we're going to have Dividend Cafe in your inbox as we always do. There's a few Fed presidents talking tomorrow. I know Bostic and Barr are, and I think Powell is, may, may have some words at some point too. So you may see some, you know, reiteration or some follow through um, from yesterday's comments tomorrow. But um, other than that, I wish you all a lovely evening and reach out with your questions as always. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.